Hello traders, this is Dimitrios and Alan Pitis from Snake Trading and it's been a while since I published my last video and I thought that it would be this is uh, a great opportunity to record and publish a new one today we expect um, the Federal Reserve interest rate decision on um, 18 uh, um, GMT and before I continue with uh, the technical picture of uh, the US dollar against uh, its major counterparts um, I wanna show you my risk disclaimer here on uh, on the website of Snell Trading I strongly encourage you to go on the website under the main menu pages legal uh, risk disclaimer and read this information and now I'm gonna go directly the trading platform. The first instrument I'm going to look, we're going to look to, is the Australian dollar against the U.S. dollar, and we had a sharp decline um, the a few hours ago when uh, um, worse CPI uh, releases. Um, was released uh, in, in during the the Sydney session, and this kind of a decline uh, that uh, breaks below um, those averages and goes well with uh, our um, Elliott wave analysis that considers this peak here as uh, a more meaningful top. Uh, we have five wave decline here and then a correction that was struggling to move above those SMAs and then a decline, an impulsive decline that uh, seems to be incomplete so far that means that it, it has more room to continue to the downside give us more assurance, um, more confidence in, in, in this count and that we expect lower prices from here but a break below this level uh, would be uh, a better um, uh, a better sign of uh, weakness for the Australian dollar <coughs> excuse me but with regards to the US dollar that means that this pair shows uh, more bullishness for the US dollar and we expect this decline to continue uh, let's move on uh, forward to uh, let's move forward to um, uh, excuse me let's take a look on this uh, okay uh, let's move forward on uh, the US dollar and uh, we saw a rebound uh, after the decline that followed the ECB event and uh, if we look at the 4 hour chart we see how uh, this rebound is uh, currently uh, trapped between uh, the 144 and the 55 uh, period SMA but um, I expect this rebound to continue and probably um, probably during the uh, prior or during the, the Fed announcement we will have a, a more uh, strong rebound uh, towards um, the 114 level uh, and uh, I have uh, yesterday changed my uh, count uh, of uh, those uh, short term moves in the 1 hour chart I was expecting a 5 way decline then a correction and then um, a sharper decline to follow but gi given the fact that prices can move above uh, this area here I suspect that uh, more bullishness is uh, ahead and that means that uh, this count here is not correct and we have to remove those signs and, and we're gonna have here this is gonna be uh, our uh, wave A of um, our uh, wave A of uh, wave D and uh, this is an unfinished yet wave B that will stack around those levels and then we'll have an impulse to the downside 
probably until uh, it reaches the important level of uh, 111 and that will be the end of uh, wave uh, of uh, wave D of the larger triangle that we see here so I expect here uh, a rebound and then a decline for this wave D and then of course another uh, ABC is expected for wave E prior to, to a more uh, stronger uh, bear rally in, uh, in the long term uh, let's move forward to the British pound the British pound has pushed higher and as we can see on the weekly chart it has uh, now it has now broken above uh, the 21 uh, week SMA and if we look at the daily chart it is about to face resistance by the 144 day SMA uh, also if we look uh, I have also made changes to my count here and uh, I believe that wave 3 has uh, ended here this, was, this is the same as before uh, but I have changed my view on those uh, ups and downs here and I believe that this is ABC for a W, ABC for an X and ABC for a Y that completes wave B and this is wave C which completes uh, the wave 4 up here but for now I see in this ending diagonal ABC, ABC only uh, third wave, the third wave is completed, thus I'm expecting some sideways to downwards movement for wave 4 and then an ABC to the upside that will push higher uh, to, mm, to touch this SMA and here it will complete wave 4 which is uh, more uh, normal let's say than my previous count, it will be around the wave 4 of one lesser degree and uh, then a, a downtrend will follow which uh, goes in line with my expectations for a stronger dollar in uh, the coming weeks and months so moving forward to the New Zealand dollar we see I have uh, pointed out in my recent reports that although uh, more weakness is expected for the pair uh, this trend line here on the RSI is um, is still valid and it still supports the bullish momentum of uh, the long term for the pair and this choppy price action makes it very difficult for um, for a good uh, uh, an acceptable let's say count of those moves but still uh, I count this uh, as uh, a wave C which is um, an impulse that uh, has a very deep wave 4 correction and then a large ending diagonal for wave 5 and we can see that on the uh, 1 hour chart this is the ending diagonal this is where um, this is where uh, how I count this 1, 2, 3 and um, uh, sorry, this is wave two here, and then one, two, three, four, five for wave three, and then a deep and large wave four. Since we had a very uh, shallow and small wave two, the rule of alternation on Elliott wave count. So, uh, so I exp I believe that this was wave four and then we have a large ending diagonal uh, a large ending diagonal here uh, which um, uh, so, sorry this is a leading diagonal for, for a wave 5 and then a decline from here which looks impulsive but the correction so far here seems incomplete uh, the 55 um, the 55 hour SMA seems to provide some support after it was broken here and we have an, uh, uh, a candle here rebounding for now uh, so I expect it uh, to move higher in the coming hours but um, 
I believe that after the from C statement, uh, it will uh, it will reverse lower again, uh, especially since uh, a few hours after the from C, we're expecting uh, um, uh, an um, RBNZ statement too, and an interest rate decision, of course, which. Uh, during which I don't expect any change on the rate, but um, I believe that um, the option of uh, a rate cut uh, will be w will be left open uh, in the statement and the press conference. So, uh, although I expect a short-term bullishness, that will probably uh, be uh, limited by the 61.8 retracement of the recent decline, then I expect a, a bearish reversal. Moving forward to the Canadian dollar, uh, the Canadian dollar uh, continues to strengthen and um, thus the loon is moving lower. I have um, Previously, in my reports, um, indicated this low as uh, the bottom. We see excessive divergence here on the 14 period RSI. Uh, but uh, this kind of price action, the fact that prices remain under the 144 hour SMA, uh, makes me believe that I'm wrong to signal uh, a low here. I have indicated in my report here that uh, more confirmation is needed uh, for a low, uh, so I'm um, I'm waiting for uh, a better, I mean, uh, a stronger rebound before uh, signaling uh, a low. After all, uh, looking at the larger picture, this is. Uh, a hell of uh, a bear market here in uh, the in the Looney. The, th these are more than uh, 2,000 pips from the top, so we will need uh, a much stronger rebound than that uh, that we saw uh, than this small rebound here to before we can uh, signal an end of uh, a temporary. Uh, end of uh, this um, of this uh, bear market. As I stated before, as I said, uh, we stay alerted, waiting uh, for shifting momentum to confirm our valid wave count. We didn't see a shifting momentum so far. The momentum is still bearish, uh, so we will be looking for the for a more for a stronger rebound during the today's FOMC statement and interest rate announcement by the Fed. Uh, to get more bullish on uh, this pair. Moving uh, forward to... Um, uh, we have some strange uh, here. Excuse me. Yeah, here is the one hour chart. Excuse me, and uh, my charts got a little bit meshed here so let me find the Swiss franc Excuse me about that. Okay, here it is. Looking at uh, the larger picture, we had a strong rebound here 
and I still believe that this is uh, this is where uh, wave four of this uh, leading diagonal has ended. And look at the daily chart. We see uh, two consecutive pushes higher, and we had a rejection of the 55-day SMA. But the RSI still looks bullish. Uh, it remains, and it is about to touch the. Um, nine day SMA so um, looking at the four hour chart uh, it looks like there is uh, more downside in the short term uh, more downside in the short term but uh, so far the 55 period uh, SMA here at the four hour chart seems to uh, provide solid support and after probably another touch here we will see a sharper rebound um, moving to the Japanese yen, this is uh, also another pair that where we saw a strong rebound and uh, the rebound brought prices exactly at the 144 week SMA and uh, it seems that it's providing support, uh, resistance, excuse me, resistance now, it was support for some time and uh, if we look at the daily chart, the 55-day uh, SMA is providing resistance, but I believe that this resistance will be broken since um, uh, I am able to count very clearly five waves here to the downside and a completed five-wave move from uh, uh, this high here for a wave C of Y and uh, the RSI, uh, excuse me, the RSI looks bullish and the 144 period on the 4 hour chart period SMA uh, provides resistance, provides support and the 21 period uh, SMA also provides support so this is an instrument where um, uh, I'm more confident than others that uh, it is in bullish mode already and a sharper bounce is expected uh, during today's um, interest rate event from uh, the US. Looking at uh, gold, uh, this is a bit uh, concerning here because prices rebound uh, are rebounding once more from uh, this 144 week uh, SMA. Uh, and uh, we see that uh, in the last uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 weeks this uh, SMA plays an important role for uh, gold and if we go to the daily chart we see how we see the, the inability of uh, uh, birds to sell gold below this uh, SMA, the 55 day SMA, which is now uh, moving parallel uh, and very near to the 21 day SMA. But um, even if this count is uh, not correct uh, here, um, I believe that sooner or later a decline should follow. But uh, looking at um, the strength that gold is um, is building uh, that makes me believe that probably we have something completely different here and uh, either we will see uh, either we have a uh, way for green completed uh, here at this level and then we have uh, uh, one two three four and the five to the upside to complete the wave five here and then move to the downside um, or or we will see immediate weakness from here uh, that means that there is no clear picture for gold at the current point and it, uh, it is an instrument that I believe that uh, should be avoided uh, at the current point. Uh, as a rule of thumb, 
as long as it trades above those SMAs on the 4 hour chart it is a buy as long as it trades below them it is a sell and um, uh, but overall it's not the best instrument to to trade at the current point moving into the um, into oil we see very clear bullish picture here although now prices are about to face resistance at um, the 55 week SMA which was not uh, uh, touched have not been touched since um, July 2014 looking at the daily chart uh, it is clearly into bullish mode however we see divergence here on the daily RSI 14 day RSI which means that uh, would may mean that this is a wave 4 and this is a wave 5 of some degree and uh, the instrument is about to face resistance probably at this SMA here and we will see uh, a meaningful reversal from here looking at the 4 hour chart this is exactly what uh, my count expects uh, and uh, probably we're very near uh, a, an important top uh, and when I say important I I believe that after reaching uh, reaching a top here we uh, crude oil will drop again towards uh, the wave 4 of one lesser degree which is around the $36 area divergence appear at the 4 hour chart too and uh, probably this is a wave 5 of uh, of a 5 wave move inside here and the main problem with this count is that uh, if uh, we're about to see weakness in um, um, weakness in uh, crude oil then we're gonna see weakness on, uh, on stocks and um, the German DAX is uh, facing resistance at uh, the 55 week SMA looking at the daily picture however we have moved above the 55 uh, the 144 day SMA and uh, looking lower uh, I expect a, re a rebound uh, towards the 10 uh, 880 level and the RSI also looks bullish here and I don't, and I don't see how this rebound can occur with uh, uh, oil prices on a, on a correction on the other hand um, this, uh, looking at the excuse me looking at the one hour chart this is how I count the most recent rebound so I'm expecting another push higher and uh, on the other hand uh, looking at um, the S&P 500 the index faces strong resistance at the uh, wave B top here and uh, looking at uh, the 4 hour chart uh, it is still uh, the 55 period SMA still provides support but in our uh, 1 hour chart we already count 5 waves completed here there must be um, another count here which uh, I don't see at the current point but it will, I will look um, further in the detail of uh, all those waves uh, for an alternative in case we see another high until then I expect weakness for the S&P which co contradicts with uh, the German DAX so that pretty much summarizes all my technical and early wave expectations for uh, the 11 instruments that I cover and especially the US dollar prior to the event and I hope this video was uh, will be helpful for uh, some of you keep in mind that all this content is intended for educational purposes only 
and uh, no trade should be placed solely on this information that you saw in this video. Thank you very much for watching and uh, see you in the next video. Goodbye.